Hi everyone, Lindy here. I'm going to swap over, well I'm trying to be in a swap over your, fa your paper pantry. I'm trying to join. And I just went there and it said it's been suspended, but I'm, I'll get to the bottom of that. Anyway, they're having a March swap, artist trading card swap, and it's tropical blues and teals. And Sunday I was watching Laurel from New Jersey's um, Ustream. And she was, you know, headed me over and she had done this technique and headed me to another blog to learn how to do this paper. And I don't know if you can see it. It's really shimmery, well, maybe a little bit. And uh, what I did is it's just copy paper that you crunch up and then you use your Starburst, um, Lindy's Starburst or whatever you have. And um, maybe I should sit in front of this light. <laughs> so I don't know if I turn it off, you there won't be any light in the room. Anyway, so Lindy Starburst, and then this one was Delphinium Turquoise because the colors are blue and teal. And then this is Tibetan teal, and this one is uh, the sponge dauber that I used. And so I crinkled up the paper, got it really wet, and then I took some cheesecloth and dabbed it and wiped it. And then I had this nice piece of cheesecloth that was all stained and glittery. So what I did with that, um, well, I saved all that. And then what I did is I took the paper and cut it. Now this is just a, a scrap one, a practice one. And I stamped, first I stamped with memento ink and it didn't show up. So then I decided I needed to use um, embossing powder. So I embossed it with the sentiment that says life is so much easier with a friend by your side and then I don't know, you can't see how glittery it is but it's really the paper is really beautiful and then I put um, some like weeds along here because like I said the theme is tropical so that was the first thing I did then I took some of the cheesecloth and I mod podged it across the top and then I thought oh I need some characters on here so I um, so that it's not right in front of the light. There we go. So um, I found these two pelicans, or well, a pelican on Life is a Beach, and cut them out with my Cricut and in pink, and then I embossed them. I don't know. Yeah, so you can see that I've embossed them a little bit there, and then um, I inked around the edges with antique. I'm sorry, vintage photo. Then I took a little piece of cork from that cork that I had for my bulletin board and I punched it out with a Stampin' Up punch and it worked really good. It didn't, it's not broken. <laughs> so I might have to go over it with um, some tin foil. I might have to use the punch to sharpen it up again. But this is sticky pack, so that was good. So then I used the, and this was kind of the motivation too, was this graphic 45 paper because it had the right colors in it. And so I used that for the back of my card. Uh, bring it over here <laughs> for my card. And then I used a piece of the cheesecloth here to make a little belly band so that I could stick my information in. I'm going to put that all on the tag. So there's the card and the artist trading card that I'm going to use. And um, I still need to go around. The, I need to make my um, information card for the back. And I need to go around the edge with some of this, um, what kind is this, Tibetan poppy teal. And I'm going to go around there with that. So it's a little rough but I hope that's okay. I'm going to sand it a little bit, but I'm not sure. But anyway, it's Wednesday, and there used to be a um, challenge or blog or what's on your desk Wednesday, so my desk is really messy because I've been working on these, so I'm going to show you what they are. I did tell you that I used the, the, this cheesecloth that I used on here. I, I Mod Podge that, and the, this is the third time I made this. That's why I'm struggling here. Um, that the cheesecloth that I used to wipe up or to blot it was the same cheesecloth. So I recycled it into here and it, I really like it. I think it really looks like um, fish netting. But anyway, here's my desk. It's really a mess. 
Uh, hope I'm not making you sick. Then over here, I have my um, Young Living um, diffuser, and I have clarity in it to help me think better, but I'm not quite sure. But this is my Lindy sprays, and they need to go back in the other room because I usually spray in there. But for this technique, I sprayed on my mat so that I could wipe it up with the cheesecloth, and then I cut the cheesecloth all up. I still have, here's my stack of cards to finish. I still have all the little pieces because I keep thinking, hmm, I should be able to use this stuff for something else, but they may go in the in the trash. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what I was doing. And I really like that Coconut Pam and Laurel from New Jersey, she's been on camera before. Um, Creations with Christina, she was on, I just saw her today. So I thought, oh, I should do that just so you have a face to the person that's talking. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I got to tell you, I really, really appreciate all my followers and everyone that leaves wonderful comments. And it's been so nice meeting so many people and making connections. So, oh, also Monica, she has been on camera many times. And I get so many, um, I get so much inspiration spiritual I guess or mental or whatever inspiration from Monica she just um, she does her art journals and talks about you know rough days or good days and how she puts them into her art and it's it's amazing and art really is just a great thing so anyway thanks to everybody that watches and have a great day